Those thugs down on the site. Is it true they were on your payroll? How did you find out? Never mind. Is it true? Yes. Okay, how could you? How could you do anything so despicable? I don't know, Jane. I really don't know. I don't know what came into my mind. I've never done anything like that before, believe me. Why? Why should I believe a word you say? A man who's capable of hiring professional hooligans to, to beat up my son is certainly capable of lying. I'm not lying to you, Jan. I've never lied to you. I was desperate. I didn't know what to do. No. But you knew who to approach, and only a villain would know that. It was a friend of mine I grew up with. OK, so I had some very dodgy mates when I was a kid, but I was never into villainy, not even when I was on the breadline. Well, you're into it now, aren't you? And if Leo wants me to give evidence for him, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw you to the wolves. I don't blame you, Jan. All I can say is I'm very sorry. And I'm not involved in the nature reserve anymore. You've sold out? Yes, to Charles Frere. It's cost me... <laughs> well, it's cost me more than I can afford to lose. Then perhaps you've learned a very expensive lesson. Jan sued me for adultery, naming you. Well, that would make you the guilty party, wouldn't it? No such thing as a guilty party these days. Makes no difference in law. Well, the important thing is not to feel guilty. You don't, do you? <laughs> oh, of course not. When I was thinking about your reputation, you don't mind being branded a scarlet woman? <laughs> no. At least it gives the men at the yard someone to blame. Blame? For what? Management losing interest. They were complaining they never see you or Dad these days. Oh, I haven't lost interest. Just had a lot on my mind lately. Len, Leo, Catamaran. I know that. But Dad's had things on his mind too. Hence the rumblings. Well, at least I don't spend my time gambling and chasing after Dolly Birds. What are we going to do about Jack? You leave him to me. You concentrate on that main beam problem. There isn't a problem. I've told you, my figures are correct. Bill doesn't agree. I didn't ask for his agreement. You tell him to mind his own business. <sighs> my mother had a name for a man like you, Tom Howard. Pertinacious. She always said, never fall for a pertinacious man. She should have taken her own advice. Shouldn't she? Afternoon, Jack. Better late than never. Uh, Kate, this is Dawn Williams. Hi. Pleased to meet you. Your niece, is it, Jack? Uh, that's right, Kate. I was going to ask her to perform the launching ceremony, but it seems Avril has asked some local knob. Well, as she's come such a long way, I'm sure the local knob will stand aside. No, 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 no. She's not bothered. She doesn't have to launch a boat to get a name in the papers. I'm sure she doesn't. I'm sorry about the mix-up. My father and I are always getting our wires crossed. No, it doesn't matter. I expect there'll be lots of other boats in the future, won't there? Well, I hope so. Davy, you can take the wraps off now. Just promise me one thing, love. No more solo crossings, huh? <laughs> Not for a while, anyway. All set, Kate. I name this boat the Lynette. May God bless her and all who sail in her. Of a job. 
Polly. Well, this is an agreeable surprise. I was hoping the court case wouldn't cause too much unpleasantness for us all. You think the court case will be the end of it? You don't know Abby. I know she's a very determined young woman. Like mother, like daughter. Please, sit. Thank you. But you're wrong, Charles. She's not at all like me. If you say so. She's much more like her father, single-minded, stubborn and utterly selfish. <laughs> that doesn't sound remotely like Gerald. I must say, I've always found him rather malleable. I wasn't talking about Gerald. Ah. Charles, couldn't you drop the marina scheme? Abby will never give up, you know. The court will probably give her a conditional discharge, but it won't make any difference. Next day, she'll be back at the barricades. In that case, she'll go to prison. Exactly. And that's what I'm trying to prevent. For her sake or for yours? For all our sakes. Wouldn't do your reputation much good either. My dear Polly, it's hardly likely to affect me. I haven't broken the law. And I've invested far too heavily to pull out now. As I said, single-minded, stubborn and utterly selfish. I don't think I quite follow you. Don't you recognise yourself, Charles? Yes, do forgive me if I'm being obtuse, Polly, but just what exactly are you trying to say? Abby. She's your daughter. The